What's going on guys, it's Drew here, bringing you another commentary, and this time around we are on iPod King Carter's channel, and um, you know what time it is, it's time to get your mama, get your grandmama, because we're about to kill in 2K, and I just want to give iPod King Carter a quick thank you for allowing me to post on his channel, you know, not a lot of, of com or commentators allow you to do this anymore, and uh, I, think it's, I think it's great, I think it's real great, and um, as you can see right here, we are doing a create a legend with Gerald Green, Gerald Green, what? Yes, this dude is a highlight machine. I think we all all can agree on that. But um, if you don't know, Gerald Green has played for five different teams. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Dallas Mavericks, the Boston. He was drafted by the Boston Celtics. He then got traded to the Houston Rockets in 2007. 2007. I think and this is all off the dome too, people. Oh, 2007, 2008, he got traded to Houston, and in that same season, he got traded to Minnesota. So he started off in training camp with Boston, got traded to Houston, then he got traded to Minnesota midway through the season, and then next year he was with Dallas, and then after that, he took two years off, or two and a half years off, and now he's with the New Jersey Nets. Um, this guy's been battling for minutes his whole career. If you don't know who he is, he's um. He's been battling, like I said, he's been battling minutes for his whole career, and basically he's bounced around from team to team. This last summer he was uh, on the Lakers' summer squad, didn't end up making the team, and but he didn't give up. He did not give up at all, and now he's with the New Jersey Nets, and he's signed through the rest of the year, and who knows? The way the Nets are going, he could probably be there for a couple years, and I think it's great because, he, like I've said, he's bounced around from summer team to summer team. He's 25 years old at this point, and... Uh, Usually the people in the summer team are in their first or second year, and this guy's or in the summer circuit, and this guy's still out there balling out, and uh, I think it's great. And if you don't know, this guy's a one or a four-fingered baller. He's missing the ring finger on his right hand. He's missing the ring finger on his right hand. That might explain why he can't shoot as well as he does. I was just informed about this information a couple days ago that uh, he only has one. Uh, he's missing his ring finger on his shooting hand, so that can. Uh, that can cause some difficulty as it gets a nice scoop layup. There you go, Gerald. But um, you know it's it's uh this guy, great athlete, great athlete. And if you didn't happen to catch the stats at the beginning, I'm sorry I couldn't really point him out. But his mid range and three are average at best, not even average. And his consistency is terrible, which makes which makes his shooting even worse because more often than not, if your consistency is low, you're not going to make the shot. As you can see right here, I get a nice little woo hoo but I get blocked. So um, this guy's strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, his ability to finish around the basket. Now, this guy is a leaper, a dunker. If you guys don't remember when he did the cupcake dunk at the, the Sprite Slam Dunk competition, he dunked it and blew out a cupcake that was sitting on the rim. How many people can do that? Not many people can do that. Uh, he's a freakish athlete. His dunk rating is a 90 on this game. He, it's amazing to me how how athletic this guy is. But um, like I said, his consistency, his shooting, and his ball handling is absolutely horrendous. His ball handling is terrible. He gets, I think I get picked off at least like three times in this game. And um, that's something that we're really going to have to work on. And uh, something that I really look to improve. I want to make this. Get that block out of here, baby. Gerald Green's got ups for days, man. He could jump out the building. Uh, that's the one thing I like about starting off with this guy, because when you start off with the my player, generally, you're not going to be able to be that athletic. Like this guy's stamina is good, his speed is pretty good, and his jumping ability and dunking. As he get the nice little oopty doop layup, baby, that was beautiful. And um, when you start off with this guy, he's got all those uh, core physical attributes that you like as I give up the wide open three to the Washington Wizards how we lose to the Wiz come on now and uh I don't know if I pointed this out already but I start or I play on Hall of Fame all day every day son and um you know when you start off with a guy like Gerald Green where you get the stamina you get the vertical you get the speed you get everything right away I think it's um really funny using look at this oop on the Kobe moves down low that was beautiful so um basically right now I want to talk a little bit about my channel you know I don't want to sit here and just try to pit myself out the whole time if you guys do in fact like what you see so far I do I do want you guys to come by and check out my channel it's Chris Hump Diddy Hump hits the three or hits the three hits the mid-range jumper um I do post 2k quite 
off or quite often. I like posting 2K. I got a, a NBA 2K12 Lakers Association. And uh, look at that. We're getting, we're hustling down low. We got to get this board though, baby. Get that Gerald Green. Let's see, he gets ups and he gets boards on this game. But um, I do like posting 2K. This is my first my player or create a legend on this game because um, I, I honestly don't, I didn't like doing my player besides the fact of crew. And once Crew was not on this game, I did not want to do it at all. Um, crew was my motivation to play my player, like 100%. There was no other reason to play my player for me except for getting better so I wouldn't hold my team back when we played Crew. And look at this. Oh, put the hands up. He's running, running, running. Woo, boom, baby, that was beautiful right there. What the hell was that? Moment of silence, please, from the rim. Rest in peace. But like I was saying, I do like to post 2K. I post Call of Duty as well. Um, I know mo uh, like you guys on here are mainly like 90% 2K, 2K watchers, but I do post 2K. I would like to post more, more and more. I'm, I'm starting to post more and more. I'm starting to post at least like three 2K videos a week and three Call of Duty videos a week. I like to split them, but I, w I would like to post more uh, 2K videos, and if I had a little bit of an incentive to post them, then I would be more willing to post more and more. And um, on the Call of Duty side of things, I like to think of myself as a pretty darn good gamer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Gerald Green, whenever he's on the fast break, look at that. Ooh, glide into the rim. Glide into the rim. Look at that. Oh, he tucks it to the right, goes back. Oh, I love that dunk. That dunk was better than the first one. But, um... I, I I like to think of myself. I don't want to sound cocky or anything. As a great call or not great, goddamn, a good Call of Duty uh, player. I have a lot of MOABs and stuff on my on my channel. So if you're interested in that as well as alongside a uh, 2K, then go ahead and check for it. But like I said, this is my first episode of Gerald Grant. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure how this is going to be received. Um, I know a lot of people like to see Creative Legends, but I'm not too sure about Gerald Green because he's not like one of those, not like a Scalabrini type player where people know him even though he sucks. And I put Brooke Lopez in a terrible position right there. I should have went up with it. I got myself in that bad situation. That would have been the uh, smart thing to do. But I don't know how many people really know who Gerald Green is. Like I know like some hardcore basketball fans, but some of the mediocre fans don't really know. So I hope this, let me know what you guys think. Is Gerald Green a good pick? I would like to think so. But, hey, look at Nene, man. Oh, my goodness. Why? Well, I know why Denver traded him. But, man, I would have kept him. Over JaVel McGee, heartbeat, I would have kept him. Even though he was underperforming a little bit this year. Just got to work with him and keep busting and busting. So, at this point, if you haven't noticed, we're down 17. You know, it's opening night and we're already getting blown out. Um, I try to do my best. At this point, I have 10 points and 4 rebounds. Which is not phenomenal, but it's good for Gerald Green. And look at this. I chuck up a shot and it goes in. I don't know how that went. But I don't, winning a Hall of Fame is not something that's obviously impossible. But I honestly don't know how to do it without taking over the game. And I do not want to take over the game. And look at that windmill. Two-handed windmill, baby. Looking Vince Carter-esque on the break. The, back to the Vince Carter New Jersey days. But uh, I really don't know how to win on Hall of Fame without taking over. If you guys can leave me some tips. That'll that'll tremendously help me out. Um, the only the only way I can win on Hall of Fame is if I just straight take over with the player that I'm using, and I don't want to do that because that's not fun to watch. I want to play through the flow of the offense, and um, I want to run the plays, and I just want to do the best I can within the offense. I don't want to make it unrealistic to the point where Gerald Wallace ah oh, catch that baby. Uh, I don't want to make it to the point where Gerald Wallace is out there dominating the ball 90% of the time. And one quick question. If you guys know to uh, grab the l -oops, do I have to update my hands or my dunking? I'm not too sure. Not too sure. On the last game, I'm pretty sure it was just dunking. But on this one, I'm a noob when it comes to this kind of stuff. And he's putting the Kobe footwork on again. He almost gets the end one. It rims out. So, you know, we're losing by 20 at this point, And... Uh, pretty here or so here pretty soon I get subbed out and it's a, there's like a minute left in the fourth quarter so basically this game I got a lot of mop up minutes I got a lot of garbage minutes um and I just we you got we got to get more minutes on this team we got to earn a spot on this team and that's a, not the way we're gonna do it right there so if you guys will please leave a rating leave a comment I love comments more than anything they tell me how I'm doing if I'm doing anything right um, what I need to improve on. Get that offensive rebound, baby. Go up with it. If I'm doing anything right, what I'm doing wrong. So if you guys will leave comments, they're more important to me than ratings. 
I love interacting with my subs. I try to message back as many as I can, unless someone's like, nice vid, then I don't know, or nice vid, I'll say thanks, but if they just say, leave me like a blatant message that there's really no response needed to, I, I won't message you back. But if you ask me a question, I try my best every single time to message you guys back. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a rating, come swing by my channel, the link is down below in the description. So uh, we finished off with like 24 and seven or something like that not my best game we end up the first game is with the loss look be looking out for episode two on machinima sports i will be posting that soon i hope you guys enjoyed and peace out and to lose